Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Marone, and today I want to share with you a tip for your LinkedIn company page about publishing articles. So there have been a few new features on LinkedIn company pages of which you might not be aware, but you should. And what I like about LinkedIn articles is that you don't have to worry about sharing an article and not being able to include a link in your post, which LinkedIn does not like if you do that because it doesn't want you to put an external link so that you take people off of its platform. And it actually penalizes you when you do that. So let me take you through my LinkedIn company page and how to actually post an article. We're going to do this together. This is a little bit different than sharing a newsletter, which you can now do, and I'll take you through that in another video. So first things first, yes, I have a lot of tabs open. I know it's not ideal. So many people commented on that when I did my first Loom video. So here is my company page, and you have a lot of options here when you post something. You know, this is just how I would create a regular post, and I have the option of adding a photo, a video, a document, which is how you do a carousel post, which is something I'll also create a video about soon. I can share I'm hiring, I can celebrate an occasion, I could create a poll, another really great thing to do. Okay, but look what I could do. I can write an article. And also at the very bottom, guys, I can create a newsletter which is also something that's very cool. Oh, and look, you can see a Loom video playing right here, which is kind of cool because I'm in a Loom right now and you're seeing a Loom video. So I go to write an article. And you'll see all the components here. It makes it so easy to do this, which is something I love. You can actually upload an article in a matter of minutes once you get comfortable doing. So you have the option of creating a newsletter and you get one newsletter per company page or per person. So you can't have multiple newsletters, which I know is a little tricky. Again, I'll talk about that in, in another segment of this. There's a publishing menu. You have drafts, my articles. This is a new article. There's a couple of different things you can do here with regard to formatting. But you, um, you know, you have like sort of like a CMS tool right up here with, you know, block quotes and URL links and you can bold and italicize, underline. I've got my headline and then my cover image. So I use Canva to resize my images. It tells you that you should put a pixel size of 1280 by 720. I do not actually agree with this because when I do use that image size, it becomes distorted. So in Canva, there's actually a LinkedIn banner article cover image size. It's 2,000 by 600. That's the one I recommend using for this. So I'll show you in one second because we're actually going to do this. So I'm going to switch over to this tab, actually this tab. Okay. So this is the article that we are going to repost. This is an article on my blog, which you should follow, the Social Media Butterfly blog. And I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to right click it, go to copy. I'm going to go back to my article. I'm going to cut, I'm going to paste this. And it, you see it's like already formatted. I don't have to do anything here. I'm going to just click on this and I've already have my headline right here, my, my, sorry, my cover image, and I resized it. So it's perfect. Now, there's a few things you can do here. This is the full width. There's also like a, a cover, like another width here. Sorry, there's full width, and then there's oh, something in there. I can't get to it. But anyway, trust me, this is the right size. I can also remove it. I can add a credit or a caption. I'm not going to do that. This is totally fine. Okay. So... I'm going to go here and paste my copy, um, and that is not the right article. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm just going to grab all of the text. Um, it's not going to grab that image, don't worry. Okay. And now I'm just going to go back to LinkedIn, and I'm going to paste it. So I didn't paste plain text because I actually want the links that are in it. Okay, because I actually want this URL. Okay, it's so easy that it actually even pulls in. Yeah, so look, it actually pulls in bullets. It's not like WordPress or another CMS tool. 
There's nothing else here that I really have to do with the exception of you should pull in your contact info. So I'm going to pull in my contact info. This is a JD Super article, which you can also follow me on JD Super. I'm just going to pull in my contact info. You should always add that to the bottom of your article. You see it pulled it in. These are all hyperlinks. You can, you know, obviously double check them. I just know that these work. So if you do it once and keep it in an article, you know, keep it in a Word document, you'll never have to do it again. The other thing that I would like to do is show you that you can actually add an image here. So you see when I put my cursor right on the left side, I get this um, sort of like, I don't know, it looks like a quote with like a little um, plus sign. Look what happens. I get a new menu. I can insert an image, insert a video, which is super cool because I can actually put a YouTube link in here. And so I'll just show you guys really quickly. If I wanted to do that, I would just grab the URL and let me just go back to LinkedIn. Sorry, I'll let me go. Yeah, let me go back here. Look what happens. So I shared the YouTube link. It actually embeds it into the article. Isn't that cool? So that you can actually just watch it right in here. Now, this is actually not something that I want to put in this article. So, um, hi everyone, I'm Jessica. Oh, but look, you're watching a loom while you're in a loom. Isn't that cool? So you could just very easily delete it. And another thing you can do is put my cursor here, add an image. So let me show you. I'm going to upload this from my computer. Okay. Okay, now this is humongous. I don't want it this big. I'm just going to go here, and this is an image that I made to just kind of um, summarize the points in the bullets. I did this in Canva also. And so I'll just want to do um, some alt text, always add alt text to just make it readable, accessible, and it'll come up higher in Google search results and LinkedIn search results. So how to repurpose your video content. Oh, this is actually a webinar content. Webinar content, okay. All right, and then with this one, I wanted to just see if I could delete this. I think it's gonna let me delete it. I think if I keep my cursor. Yeah, okay, cool. So it let me take the video out, but unfortunately it also took that image out. So just have to go and put that back. And you can also see that you can put slides in there. Like there's a bunch of cool things that you can add. So kind of cool. So. And you'll have to play around like you'll see like, you know, if I wanted to put this here, I don't, I don't think it looks that good there. I think you guys would agree with me. I can put it in the middle. Eh, eh, make it huge. Whoa, no. I think it looks better over there. But, you know, you have to sort of play around with it, okay? And then add the alt text back. I mean, an easier way to do this would be if I just like copied this, put it in here. Once you start doing this, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, so now I've double checked it. Let's pretend I double checked it. We're actually going to share it right now. Okay, so I am going to pull the intro of my article because I think it's, you know, it's a good summary of the article. But if there's something else you'd rather use, feel free. Now, look what happens. It pulls in this image that I use as my cover image, so that's why it's really important to pick a good cover image. I put the copy in there, you know, I've got to add, you know, formatting things. I'm gonna add hashtags. The jury for me is still out on whether hashtags are actually worth using on LinkedIn, but I'm just gonna use them. So let's do content marketing. I use um, my own hashtag sometimes, um, just honestly to categorize my own content so I can find it. Um, and let's see, let's do perhaps um, webinar. Something like that, okay? And I'm gonna do four. You should never do more than five. I'm gonna hit publish. Okay, so the beauty with LinkedIn articles is that you can edit them and it doesn't hurt your SEO, it doesn't hurt the reach of the post or anything. Here's my article. 
voila. And in case you're wondering where this article lives, okay? This article lives in your on your company page with so it's here and it's with your other articles. So if you want to see your other articles, you just go here and you go to my articles and it's going to pull up all the other articles that you wrote. Now, these are not the articles that you wrote as an individual. These are the articles that you published as an individual, sorry, as, as your company. Okay. So I hope this is helpful. So you're, you know, you're, you're again, like looking at these as, the um as the company not as you and it's a great thing to do if you wanted to say who the author was for the actual article you would need to just put the name of the person underneath and you can certainly like hyperlink the person okay and then if you're trying to go back to um your company page you know it's just you know obviously it's a little tricky here but i was showing you guys how to do this it took me less than 10 minutes to do it it may take you a little bit longer. Um, let's look, look at this page as a member. And you'll see that, okay, so let's look at posts. And if I go under articles, you'll see these are all of the articles that I've written, okay, as my company. So pretty cool. I hope this was helpful. And if you like this, please feel free to share it, to like it, and let me know if there are other videos that you want me to show you guys how to do. So follow me at um, the socialmediabutterflyblog.com and of course on LinkedIn. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good day.